Dr. Jennifer Brees, Assistant Professor of Information Technology and Cybersecurity and Program Marshal for Information Sciences and Technology and Cybersecurity Analytics and Operations, will now present the department's degree candidates. Thank you. I began my journey with these graduates just before the pandemic. In that time, I've had the opportunity to have each of these students at least twice in varying stages of instruction, face-to-face, -face, hybrid, fully online, and back to face-to-face. -to -face. I was nervous about what to stay because the responsibility to acknowledge their accomplishments is vast. I asked a few students set to graduate next year what they might have me say at their graduation. The group said, say your sayings, you know, the things you say all the time, say those at our graduation. Excited to have direction, I jotted down a few sentences for this graduating class. Then I had the opportunity to sit down with these graduates collectively yesterday at lunch and ask them, do you remember the things I said in class? I think it was the hardest final they had this week. <laughs> but after a few hints and some prodding, they got the mantras. The point is you never know what resonates. Each student is different, as is each collective group. Maybe in the future they will recall these intended words of wisdom. Maybe, probably the truth is, they developed their own. I took a step back and I asked each one of them, what was your favorite memory at Penn State? As it turned out, I had an idea, but I'll come back to that in a moment. Ethan, our IST marshal, I knew I would speak to his diligence and always doing extra, always the extra, even when he may have thought that no one was watching. We were, we all were. And through extended conversations and connections, I'm proud to say Ethan will start his very first professional position officially for the Allegheny County Courts on Monday. <laughs> Jacob, our cybersecurity operations and analytics marshal, could have graduated last year, but when he learned we were starting the cyber program, he chose to stay yet another year and complete the coursework, changing his major. He's our very first graduate in the program, and we're excited to see where his journey takes him. For Gyanandra and Nami, I've seen them interact with their friends, faculty, the PSU GA community, and the connections built here will be their cornerstone. The group collectively spoke of their interactions, relations, deep friendships, community, and most strikingly, the family they built. It is difficult to put into words how much that meant to me, knowing these graduates completed the bulk of their educational journey through tumultuous times that they were able to embrace the journey with resilience, determination, excitement for learning and opportunities, and all the while building a community. No better, a family. I know as their educational journey continues that this mantra, their words to live by, their building block, the cornerstone for which they can, they can take back, reach back, and then move forward and take with them. And for those of you who are still on the edge of your seats waiting for those mantras that I tried to bestow, you can come back next year to get those. So. Well, the Information Sciences and Technology and Cybersecurity Analytics Operations degree candidates, please rise. <laughs> Dr. Edmondson, on behalf of the faculty, I present the candidates from IST and CAO department. The department's procession was led by your student marshals, Ethan Asante for information sciences and technology, and Jacob Englert for cybersecurity analytics and operations. Congratulations to each of you. Bachelor of Science, Information Sciences and Technology, Ethan Robert Asante. Bachelor of Science, Cybersecurity, Analytics, and Operations, Jacob Bradley Englert. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Information Science and Technology, Ganendra Dahal. <laughs> Bachelor of Science, Information Sciences and Technology, Nami Paul Kihonia Makese.